Ninja Kiwi has just announced possibly the best Battles 2 update of all time, adding a brand new, never seen before hero named Jericho, changing a bunch of balance changes, making the game more balanced, and adding a brand new map. So let's hop right into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are on the map star today with the strategy attack, glue, and village, and we are going to go over these balanced patch notes and additions because it is adding a lot of stuff to the game, which is going to be really exciting to go over. And first things first, guys. They are adding a brand new hero, and this is not like the other heroes, guys. Every other hero that's been added in this game has been in BT6 before. This is a hero that's never been seen before in any other balloons game, so it's brand new and exclusive to Battles 2, and that is Agent Jericho. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I might not be, so I apologize if not, but let's read over what it says. Turn up the pressure on your opponents with cheaper rushes and enhanced natural balloons. Siphon away cash with seized assets. Send in an invulnerable decoy balloon down their track to distract their monkeys from their own rush. So it sounds kind of like Cobra from Battles 1. If you guys played Battles 1, basically, it makes the AI balloon stronger for your opponent. You can steal their money too, and it will make rushes cheaper. Um, so basically, it's going to be like a pressure hero, right? So it's going to help a lot if you're trying to rush your hero. It's kind of to um, divert passive play, I think, which is going to be interesting. And the hero old name is going to be... Highwayman Jericho. Okay, Highwayman. Unlock Highwayman Jericho with Jericho points. Steal a chunk of your opponent's cash with the Stand and Deliver special ability. If they cannot pay for the um cash when you're trying to steal it, one of their towers will be sold. Oh my gosh, that actually sounds crazy. So basically, I think one of the abilities that you have with it steals money from your opponent, right? So let's say, I don't know how much money it's going to be. Let's say it steals $500, right? If your opponent does not have the $500 to spend for it, Instead, it's going to sell one of their towers forcefully. I'm not sure, like, exactly which tower it's going to sell. Like, if it's random, if it sells the cheapest one, or if it sells the last placed one. Um, they don't really give the details on that, so we're going to have to find that out once the once the heroes are released. But that actually sounds crazy OP. Another one is send your opponent's balloons back at them with the misdirection ability. So it's just like Battles 1 there. The hero old has misdirection. Okay. So that's the new hero. Now they got another new map called Cobra Command. Defend Cobra HQ from the balloons attack. Activate the hidden panic buttons in the furniture to reveal more placement areas, including water. Hit the alarm button to open a secret passage on your opponent's side, letting the balloons take a shorter path towards the exit. That actually sounds really cool. A lot of like cool um, implementations in that map. Let me put up a screenshot of the map for you guys right now, because I haven't seen it yet, but Ninja Kiwi normally releases like a, um, a update video inside of their youtube so i can probably just find it there and send it to you guys um season 12 new bling new reward show off power with supercharger balloon decals and thunder tower balloon boost um collect awesome agent Jiracho cosmetics all right unlock cool fussy snowman cosmetics accolades wait what are accolades let's look at this collect achievements by reaching certain milestones show off the accolades you unlock on your profile like medals Ooh. Accolades are secret until you unlock them. Can you find them all? I'm actually interested in that. I think that's a brand new um thing into the game. Accolades. Am I pronouncing that right? Accolades? I think I am. Alright, Thin Ice map. They changed something with the Thin Ice. Thin Ice is no longer in Hole of Masters ranked games. This map resulted in much longer games than we'd like in Hole of Masters due to the long, map's long nature. It will no longer be in ranked games, but still appear in casual and event. Okay, cool. So, um, honestly, that's something I was asking for. Even though you guys love seeing those round 50 games... Getting in Thin Ice is not always the funnest thing because it's pretty much guaranteed to go late. There's not really anything you can do about it. The map's just too long. It's too easy to defend on. So that's a, it's a good change. It's a good change. Now we're on to the balance changes, guys. And this is where I like to give in my input because I feel like I've got some good knowledge when it comes to balance change. Okay, first off with Balloon Sense, they have made Space Ceramics give you 5 income instead of 4. And the spacing has been decreased from 0.9 to 0.75, which means they're going to be cheaper and you can send a lot more of them quicker, which... um. It's going to be kind of nice. Well, it's going to be kind of really good for a rush because five eco for space ceramics is actually a lot, guys. It's pretty cheap to send them. I think it's only 150 per ceramic. And if you're getting five eco per, that's only $30 per eco, which is close to on par. Oh, crap. I'm actually, I'm actually stupid. I don't know why I went for that village when I didn't even have my ring of fire up. Let's not die here. Okay. That was bad. That was bad. I was I was reading the patch notes and I went for my village before it was even necessary and I almost died because of it. All right, but that's actually almost on par with some of the eco balloons. Like, let's do the math. 
1.6 for 40 eco so i think i think that's 25 for eco so the ceramics are gonna cost 30 for eco so they're almost as efficient as yellow balloons but they're gonna be a pressure rush towards your opponent and they're gonna be really compact while they're while it's at it you know so honestly that's gonna be interesting that's gonna be really interesting i think i think space ceramics are gonna see a lot of use especially against bomb shooter dude bomb, that's one of bomb shooters worst enemy space ceramics i should both send like infinite of them all right, next change is to the boomerang monkey they made the moab domination 5k cheaper um the special kylie damage from mobile domination has gone from 30 to 40 um, just because and the reasoning is mobile domination did not do high enough damage for its high price tag so we have reduced its cost and increased its damage yeah mob domination was definitely not a very good tower but now it might see some use because 5k price reduction and 10 damage more is actually a pretty big buff there so we'll see how that goes sniper monkey the full auto rifle bonus mob damage from one to two and then the xx5 remains unchanged bonus mob damage from 105 and 205 cross paths now apply as well okay and then the bottom path sniper does not seem much general use okay sounds good sounds good monkey sub the sub commander now increases the range of all subs by plus 20 and then the sub commander increases the pierce of all subs by plus six instead of plus four sub commander has not really been a popular tower even though sub has been a popular tower, it's kind of the recent there, which makes sense. Sub commanders doesn't see really much use overall. But I did use it in one of my recent videos, so if you didn't check that out, go check it out. It actually kind of surprised me how how much damage it did in the sub army. Um, Monkey Buccaneer is the next one. The aircraft carrier missile damage from 15 to 20 and damage type changed to unstoppable. So that means that um before I think it was damage type is just like normal darts, so it could be couldn't pop lead and stuff, but now it could pop all types. The carrier flagship missile damage has been increased to 60, all right. And then the Buccaneer Wizard Monkey. The Necromancer, the max graveyard capacity from 500 to 450. So the Necromancer got a small nerf there. The Summon Phoenix appears from 10 to 8. Um, Summon Phoenix got a small nerf as well. Honestly, it's good that the Wizard got nerfed because the Wizard has been one of the most used um, towers right now. Tac Farm Wizard is a really good strategy in a lot of maps and whole masters. So it's nice to see that. Alchemist, the Perma Brew, got a um decrease in range from 55 to 45. Oh, that's actually kind of impactful, dude. Furious D watching these patch notes is probably freaking having a tantrum. He loves the Alchemist. From 55 to 45. Okay, so Perma Brew honestly was one of the best upgrades, though. I'm gonna be keeping a buck with you guys. Perma Brew was fantastic, so it's good that they nerfed it, but we'll see how these um ninja alk players deal with this. Spike Factory, the Perma Spike has been increasing damage from 10 to 15 um this upgrade barely sees use so it's outclassed by the other spike factory pass yeah i agree with that maybe that will make it better 10 to 15 is actually a really big buff though it's pretty much a what's it called a 50 percent increase right yeah 50 percent increase in damage so we'll see if that how that impacts the game we will see we will see looks like we're gonna use those purples i got a little scared they're not gonna lie let's get my monkey town up engineer monkey what to do with the engineer monkey max ultra boost stacks per tower from 10 to 5 but each stack increases attack speed by 8 percent so it's actually a massive buff to um the ultra boost because basically the max ultra boost stack is still the same but you can reach it in half the time which is something that i was asking for you need those stacks to be faster for it to be usable and now it actually might be usable so engineer um, ultra boost that's a w change gwendolyn and science win both decrease in price by 50 dollars w change indeed Sentai Churchill, the um, high energy shells increase attack speed by only 45% instead of 50%. So Sentai Churchill got another nerf. When C, rapid shot duration, ability duration is 2 seconds plus 0 0.5 seconds per level. This is not a change, but a bug mentioned before. No previous change implies it's worth nothing for part of the context. Okay. So basically, there's a bug before that made it so the ability to knock it longer with Quincy, and now they just fixed the bug, I assume. Ooh. This is something I'm interested about. I was saying before, and if you can go back to some of my videos or streams and see it. I thought that Benjamin and DJ Benjamin were the worst heroes in the current version of the game. And it looks like Ninja Kiwi agreed, because look at these changes, guys. Okay, Benjamin and DJ Ben, both of them got base cost down to 1,000 from 1,200. For Benjamin, all banks earned from 5% to 8% income for level 5, and then 12% to 14% for level 9. And the cash generation, guys. Level 8, 250 to 400 per round. Level 11, 300 to 600 per round. Level 15, 500 to 1,000 per round. Level 17, 800 to 2,000 per round. And then DJ Benjamin has a bunch of similar changes just to smaller degrees. 
that is actually going to be really interesting. I'm going to definitely try out some more Benjamin and um, DJ Ben strategies, but I also definitely want to try out the new hero as well. So I've got some stuff to try out. Let me know which you are excited to try out in the comment section down below, guys, because this is going to be it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun trying out this new hero, a Cobra oriented hero. Um, But now we got to win the game for guys, you know, next things next. We got to end up getting this W for guys. So I will focus on doing that. Let's get some overdrives down in case he sends me a DDT rush. And we can get a glue strike as well to make these pop blood. They got their super glue down, so they're going to be fine. I don't think they're going to be able to fend a um, BAD, though. So I'm actually just going to stop Eco. I'm going to stop Eco entirely. Stop it. Do I send them one of these? Hmm. What's the chance I can kill them round 28 with just like a giant round 28 rush? It might be risky. It probably is risky, but I want to... Do I take the risk, guys? Do I take the risk? And send them just a really big round 28 rush and see if we can kill them, because... Their DDT pop and power is kind of lack lacking if they don't go for like a glue storm, right? They have the super glue which can stun them, but that doesn't really do much damage. So I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna send them ZMG and now hopefully tank some stuff, and I'm gonna send a bunch of DTs and ceramics. Because they'll also need a um they'll also need a mouse drum for ceramics. And I think this could honestly do some damage to them. I think it could do some damage. So that we'll get this up to a camel detection. All right. Send him some ceramics. Send him some DTs on top. Let's kill them. Oh, look, the ceramics got by. Dude, I don't think they even saw the ceramics. So the DTs just came right over them. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on bound changes down below, guys. This is honestly probably one of my favorite updates of all time. Adding a brand new hero and lots of good bound changes with a new map and everything. Ninja Kiwi hit the hit the mark on this one, guys. I'm gonna be honest. But Ryan Malik out. Peace, lads.